under your tap and all of a sudden it hits nothing, it goes from fast to slow and it just has that jump. You see that kind of that ring of water, really thin ring of water at the base. Same thing was happening with these roofs. And as a result, they were scouring in behind and they were being dug down. In some areas, these pits were almost 10 feet deep because of how deep they were scoured. Well, if you take them down 10 feet, you now extract all that gravel, all that oyster shell, and deposit it across the island. Now, in the live sections, because you had dunes, the dunes, when they got overwashed, they just simply buried the road, and the road is perfect. The road was untouched. In the narrow sections, because the road was the highest thing, it got completely destroyed. And this is what the island looks like today. It's big asphalt pieces with this gravel and shell. Which means, now, what limited supply of sand that you had is completely locked down. You could plant vegetation, but now it's even going to be further abraded. You are never going to get dunes within this until this entire area is completely cleaned up. So what protection this, these narrow sections eventually at some point had is completely gone. This 150 years, maybe more to do with this vegetation, or with this debris covering the area. So what's the alternative? The alternative, they said, let's build the road further back. It's still a narrow section. It's still overwashed, and it was still the highest point on the island. As a result, it got destroyed. So right after Ivan, they rebuilt the road. And it got washed out during a lease. So they rebuilt the road further back. It got washed out during Cindy. So they rebuilt the road further back. It got washed out during Dennis. You can see. So guess what they're doing? They're rebuilding the road further back in the next two months. They waited some time, I guess, to forget their lesson. <laughs> but they're going